Hi, good morning. Today we learn mathematics before topic ratio. Topic ratio means acid ratio is a mistake. What is ratio? Ratio. A ratio is the comparison between two quantity of the same unit. Mispah adalah perbandingan di antara dua quantity yang sama unit. Yang sama unit. Buat dekat sini, comparison between two unit and same unit. Okay, a two quantity. So, uh, nispah ni adalah perbandingan dua quantity yang sama unit. And look at the example. This is a uh, dialogue, uh, mothers and daughter. Yeah, the daughter said, "Here is one cup of sugar, mummy, mother. Then please get me one cup of thick coconut milk." Tea. Okay, mother said, "Kak ni ah uh, satu cawan gula." Lalu mak dia minta lagi dia ah uh, apa tu? Per satu lagi. Uh, coconut milk okay. apa tu coconut milk tu uh, santan pekat okay. santan pekat this is a uh, uh, cake tu uh, this is a uh, ingredient of kuih lapis 1 cup of rice flour tengah cup half cup of wheat flour half cup of corn flour one cup of thick coconut milk, three cup of water, one cup of sugar, one one over four teaspoon of salt, a few drop of red coloring and rose essence. Ini adalah kuih lapis lah. Ini adalah resipi kuih lapis. So, uh, ni kita nak tengok. Okay, di ini antara perbualan dia. So, apa yang kita nak? Jadi, so apa yang kita nak compare? Yang apa yang kita nak bandingkan di antara dua unit ni? Okay, nah, okay, tengok ya. Yeah, you must, uh, kamu must ingat, ratio adalah perbandingan, comparison, two quantity of the same unit. Okay, perbandingan dua quantity di antara uh, yang sama, apa tu? Perbandingan dua quantity yang sama, ini. Okay, at the question, what is the ratio of the number of cup of sugar to the number of cup of thick coconut milk? Okay, uh, apa dia nisbah? Ah, uh, di antara nisbah uh, apa tu? Gula dan santan kelapa tadi. Apa nisbah dia? So, uh, ni uh, ni satu santan one cup of sugar, one cup of, of thick coconut milk. Okay, yang ni satu cawan sugar satu cawan coconut milk okey jadi kita perbandingan di sini antara dua unit ni dua kuantiti iaitu sugar dan coconut milk dan kuantiti dia uh, dia punya unit sama iaitu cup dia guna cawan cup okey so unit dia sama so apa ratio dia the ratio of 1 to 1 is written as 1 nisbah 1 to 1, ok uh, nisbah 1 kepada 1 ditulis 1 titik bertindih macam ni lepas tu 1 ok, uh, okay. the ratio of the number of cup of sugar to the number of cup of thick coconut milk is 1 1 to 1 ok, biasanya uh, kalau kita dia tanya the ratio only so the answer is 1 to 1 just read this one je. Just read. Just write this one. Okay. No need uh, the complicated sentence. Uh, takut. Takut nanti kamu jawab nanti salah. Okay. Better mark answer this one. This one. And okay. Write. Write this one for the answer. One. The ratio of one to one. Nisbah satu kepada satu. Okay, let's go 
refer to the next question. Example yang sama, contoh yang sama. State the ratio of the number of cup of sugar to the number of cup of rice color, rice flour. So, dia cakap, uh, misbah, sugar dan tepung beras. Okay, rice flour is 2, 2 cups and sugar is 1 of cup. So, uh, kita boleh tengok gambar raja ada seperti ini, 1 cup of sugar. 1 cups of rice flour. Okay. Okay. Dia bandingkan uh, quantity sugar dengan rice flour. Unit dia sama iaitu 1 cup and 2 cup. Okay. Masa guna cup eh. So the answer is. The answer is the ratio of 1, 2, 1, 2, 2 is written as 1, 2, 2. Okay. Uh, the ratio of the number of cup of sugar to the number of cup of the rice flour is 1, 2, 2. Okay. Uh, okay. Ratio. Look at the two example. Example 2. Number of story book read by 4 people in a week. Okay. Ini adalah bilangan buku yang dibaca oleh empat student ya dalam satu minggu. Ini number janaki ada satu, yang ini ada empat, yang ini ada enam, yang ini ada lima. Nora. So, state the ratio of the number of janaki story to the number of Nora story. Okay, dia nak awak cari nisbah di antara janaki story book, uh, bilangan buku janaki baca dan bilangan buku Nora baca. So, Janaki, satu buku. Nora, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Lima buku. So, nisbah dia, the ratio of the number, the ratio of the number, Janaki book to the number of Nora storybook is 1 to 5. Okay, 1 to 5. Uh, jika kamu jawab soalan, latihan, no need to write this one. Eh. Just write this one only. Okay, 1 to 5. Write this one only, okay? Then, uh, masih soalan yang sama. Okay. Set the ratio of the number of Janaki storybook to the number of. Uh, ni uh, di antara. Okay, Sherry book. Sherry storybook. So, Ha, dia cakap ratio di antara Janaki dengan Sherry. So, Janaki. Janaki. Ada satu. Sherry. Ada empat. So, ratio dia. Okay. Ratio dia adalah. Ratio dia adalah. Satu. Is. Depan. One. Two. Four. Okay. One, two, four. The ratio of. One, two. So, okay. Set the ratio of the number of Janaki story to the number of Kun's story book. So, B is A, B, Janaki, and Kun. Janaki, one book, Kun. So, the ratio of 1, 2, 6. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 6. Okay, next question. Choose mother, cook fish, fish and chicken. What is the ratio of the mass of fish to the man of chicken as shown below? Okay. Ma Mak Q ni nak masak ikan dengan ayam. Lepas tu dia tanya, apakah nisbah berat di antara ikan dan berat an, dan berat ayam? Okay, Ber, nisbah berat ikan dengan berat ayam. So, ini adalah berat ayam. Berat ikan, berat ayam. So, berat ikan mass of fish is 1 kg. Okay, berat ayam ni 10 kg. So, the ratio is, so the ratio of the mass of fish to the mass of chicken is 1. 10. Okay, 1 to 10. Uh, kenapa 1 to 10? Sebab yang ini unit yang sama. Ok, 
Okey, yang I ratio syarat dia adalah perbandingan di antara dua kuantiti. Lepas tu mesti unit dia adalah sama. So kalau unit dia sama just write 1 to 10 only. Okey. Okey, kamu boleh tulis 1 to 10. Okey, no need no need this sentence, okey. No need. Okay, next examples. The picture. The picture. Uh, the picture show the price of three item by Fuad bought by Fuad brother. Okay, ni adalah tiga item yang abang Fuad beli. Okay, kena ada buku. Uh, kasut dan handphone. This is the question. Set the ratio of the price of the bookmark to the price of the shoes. Okay. Apakah nis nyatakan nisbah harga penanda buku kepada harga kasut. So, ni harga penanda buku, ni harga kasut. So, we write this to this. Okay. Price of bookmark, price of shoes. So, kita tulis sini. RM. RM1 RM100 okay. So, uh, syarat ratio adalah perbandingan dua unit dua unit. Lepas tu unit dia adalah sama So, kita boleh tulis jawapan dia sebagai uh, The ratio of price The price of the book To the price of the shoes is 1 to 100 Okay uh, Kita boleh tulis 1 to 100. This is the answer. Okay, same question. Maybe, yeah, set the ratio of the price of the bookmark to the price of the handphone. Bookmark and the handphone. So, boleh katakan sekali. Price of bookmark RM1. Price of handphone RM1. 1,000. So, the answer is 1 to 1,000. Okay, kenapa 1 to 1,000? Sebab unit dia sama RM. Okay, the ratio of the price of the bookmark to the price of the handphone is 1 to 1,000. Okay, next example. Look at the picture. Get the ratio of the volume of accumulated juice to the volume of carrot juice. Okay, okay disuruh awak tengok ni. Kamu raja. Step nyatakan nisbah. Okay, isi padu antara uh, kakembal uh, timun, jus timun dengan jus carrot. So, jus timun 1 liter, jus carrot 4,000 ml. So, uh, ingat eh. So, uh, kakembal ni, volume of kakembal juice, 1 liter, 1 liter, volume of carrot juice, 4,000 milliliter. Uh, jadi, kita 4,000 milliliter ni kita tukarkan kepada 4 liter. Sebab, syarat untuk ratio adalah unit dia wajib sama. So, the answer is 1, 2, 4. So, the ratio of the volume of cucumber juice to the volume of carrot juice is 1, 2, 4. So, diingatkan semula, when stating a ratio, ensure that all quantities are in the same unit. Okay, maksudnya, bila kamu nak mencari uh, nisbah, pastikan kuantiti ni, dua kuantiti yang dibanding ni, mesti mempunyai unit yang sama. Kalau unit dia tidak sama seperti contoh ni, jadi yang ini wajib tukar kepada liter. Ini liter tukar kepada liter, maksudnya 4,000 dibahagi 1,000 jadi berpanjang 4 liter. So, 1 liter, 4 liter. Baru kita boleh jadikan dia sebagai jawapan budget baru kita boleh nisbahkan dia. Okay. Okay, this question. Kita tanya, is the answer correct? So, adakah jawapan dia betul? Kali kita discuss, okay? Mass of papaya, 1 kg. Mass of coconut, 1000 gram. 
ratio of the mass of fire to the mass of katana is 1 to 1000. Is it right? No, because, okay, ratio, perbandingan di antara dua unit, okay, betul, perbandingan di antara unit, dan unit dia mestilah sama. Ini unit dia tak sama, so kamu tak boleh tulis the ratio dia 1 kepada 1000, tak boleh. Sebab, okay, boleh tulis macam ni. Sebab, the ratio of, ratio mesti unit dia sah, sama. So, apa yang kita nak buat adalah, uh, kita tukarkan dulu 1000 gram tu. Okay, kg. So, 1000 gram bersamaan 1 kg. So, mass of papaya, mass of coconut, okay, papaya is 1 kg, coconut is 1 kg. So, the ratio of 1 to 1. Okay, just write this one, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, homework. Okay, H2 to 1, 221, test yourself. Okay, uh, buat latihan ni, buat semua soalan. Okay. The picture shows a vase of flower. Set the ratio of. Okay. Gambar ni adalah uh, pasu bunga. So, dia suruh awak cari nisbah A. The number of rose to the number of tulips. Okay. So, A adalah the number of rose and tulips. So, roses. Roses. Rose is one. So, rose is one. Uh, tulip. Tulip is one, two, three. Okay. Tulips, one, two, three. So, tulip. So, the answer is the ratio of the one, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay. Kalau nak cari jawapan, ini adalah jalan pengiraan dia. Dan ini adalah jawapan dia. So, awak kena tulis macam ni lah. Okay. So, B. B. The number of roses to the number of sunflowers. Okay. Roses, satu. So, roses. Roses, satu. Sunflowers. Sunflowers is one. Two. Two only. So, two. So, the answer is the ratio of the one to two. Okay. Okay, so two, number two. The table shows the length of three wires. Okay, wire R S dan T. Panjang dia satu mm, satu cm, satu meter. So, di sini kita boleh tengok unit dia tak sama. So, state the ratio of A, the length of wire R to the length of wire S. So, A, kita cari A dulu ya. Cari A dulu. Okay, the length of wire R, wire. Okay, ini adalah jalan pengiraan. So, yang ini kamu kena tulis seperti ini. So, wire R dia adalah 1 mm. Wire T dia adalah Oh, don't, bukan, bukan T. Bukan T. Okay. Wire S dia 1 cm. So, kamu kena tukar dia kepada unit yang sama. Oleh kerana unit dia tak sama. So, kena tukar kepada unit yang sama. So, unit ni kita kekalkan 1 mm. Unit ni kita jadikan dia sebagai unit S. Wire S ni jadikan dia sebagai unit mm juga. So, kena darab. Ingat eh, rumus 1cm sama dengan 10mm. So, 1cm sama dengan 10mm. So, wire S adalah 10mm. So, the answer is the ratio of the 1 to 10. Okay. No need write unit. Okay. Tak perlu nak tulis unit dalam ni. Okay. Unit tak perlu tulis. Okay, kamu tak boleh tulis macam ni. 1 mm. 
kepada sepuluh MMA. Yang macam ni, yang seperti ini tidak boleh. Eh? Jangan buat, jangan buat yang ada yang ni. Just write this one. Just write this angle saja. Okay. So look at the question B. Okay, the lens of wire S to the lens of wire T. So wire S dengan wire T. So kita perlu lihat ni yang ini dalam pengiraan wire S wire T. So wire S is 1 cm. Wire T is 1 meter. Okay, so 1 cm kita kekalkan kepada 1 cm. So 1 meter ni kita tukarkan kepada cm. So 1 meter sama dengan 100 cm. So 100 cm. So the answer is the ratio of 1 to 100. Okay. Understand? Okay, question 3. Uh, this is a uh, picture gari. Ini 1 ml, ini 100 ml, ini 1 liter. Okay. So, state the ratio of the volume of 1 ml string to the volume of 100 ml string. Okay, kita bawa cari. Alhamdulillah. Okay. 1 ml string. Apa tu? Apa nama picar gari ya? Okay. Uh, the volume. The volume of. Okay. Lepas tu the volume. The volume. The volume of 100. 100. ml string. Okay. So. Y, 1 ml, this is 100 ml, okay, oleh kerana unit dia sama, so the answer is 1 to 100, okay, this is answer, okay, okay, so B, B is the volume of, the volume of 1 ml string, the volume of 1 liter of liquid. Okay. So this one is 1 milliliter. 1 milliliter. Okay, this one is 1 liter. Oleh kerana unit dia tak sama. Unit dia tak sama. So kita kena tukarkan unit ni. Unit ni kita kekalkan. Yang ni tetap 1 milliliter. Okay, yang ini tukarkan kepada milliliter iaitu darab dengan seribu. So, jawapannya seribu milliliter. So, the answer is 1 to 1000. Okay, don't forget to your homework. Jangan lupa buat jalan pengiraan. Okay, that's all. Thank you.